Game console repairs. In this video, we'll be fully taking apart our PS3 console, cleaning up as best as we can, and replacing the old thermal compound with the new Arctic Silver high quality thermal compound. A quick note PS3 is a dust house machine, and if not cleaned regularly, it can become very dusty and dirty. And like any other machine, it needs regular servicing as well. One of the very main reasons of system failures or yellow light of death, yellowed, or any other motherboard issues is the processor becoming very hot cold solar joins and eventually giving up. Um, it's advised to clean up your PS3 uh, once per quarter if you play regularly. Um, with fully cleaning up and placing the new thermal compound will ensure that our PS3 remains in great working condition and we do not suffer from yellow light of death, yellow or hopefully any sudden motherboard failures. Um, these are the tools required uh, to clean up your whole PS3 and placing the new thermal compound um, these are the tools needed to open up your PS3 you need Phillips number 0, number 1, number 2 screw with a screwdriver, Torx T8 screw with a screwdriver you can either use a uh, micro turn precision screwdriver or small Phillips flathead screwdriver uh, another handy thing to have is marker uh, PS3 has a lot of different types of screws and a lot of different small different types of cables so best is to mark them uh, so that when you uh, try to put your console back together it makes the job a lot easier uh, another handy uh, item to have is this small utility component box once again PS3 has a lot of different types of screws so best is to have them organized in these compartments and it will be a breeze when you try to put your console back together in order to clean up you need isopropylene alcohol cotton balls, q-tips and um, some cleaning brushes. Uh, you can also use a low powered vacuum cleaners, cleaner as well in order to clean up the dust. Uh, in order to replace uh, the old compound with the new thermal compound we'll be using Arctic Silver 5. Scrape tool, uh, if you don't have a scrape tool don't worry about it you can pretty much use uh, a plastic card or a business card uh, to uh, evenly distribute the thermal compound on the chipsets. Alright, let's get going. Let's open up your PS3. Step 1, flip it over. Take out all these. Take out these 1, 2, 3 rubber pads. And then use your small Phillips flathead screwdriver and take out these plastic 1, Two, three, and then there is one and another warranty sticker. Peel off the sticker. Remove all these uh, screws. Next, uh, we'll be removing the hard drive. So simply take out this clip, and there is a blue Phillips screw in there. Simply take it out. Next, slide this cover and take out the hard drive. Next, we'll be removing these three torque screws. Flip it over, and we are now able to lift up our top cover. So, simply pull it, gently pull it up. Uh, there's a bit of a dust. Let's clean up the dust. Next, we'll be moving the power supply. So take out these two cables. And remove the two screws. Simply pull out the power supply. Next, we'll be removing the blue rear drive. In order to remove the blue rear drive, uh, unplug this ribbon cable and the black screw. Simply lift it up, remove the power reset switchboard, remove these cables and take out the power cable, and the blue rear drive is separated. Uh, 
once again clean up this dust try your best to clean up uh, as much as you can next let's move on uh, with removing the remaining components so let's remove our power reset switchboard peel off this and simply pull out the cable this comes off next uh, let's remove these uh, Blu-ray drive and the power cable power supply cable so take up the Blu-ray and the power cable next uh, we'll be removing the Wi-Fi antenna cables in order to do that you need to take out these two screws here so simply remove these two screws Simply put it out and unplug from here. So the white one first, and then the black one. This two comes off. Next, we'll be removing our fan. Take these two screws off, and peel off this sticker and move the cable. And comes off. Next, um, we need to remove the board from the bottom tray. In order to do that, we need to remove these two silver screws and three black Phillips screws. So, one, two, and three. So, remove all these screws. Next, we are now able to lift up our uh, motherboard and from the bottom tray simply no need to remove this simply slot it out and bottom tray it's a motherboard assembly next we need to remove this metal plate and this plate simply flip it over so we'll be removing all these screws one two it's marked here actually two three four five screws and these two metal bars and four screws here so take off all these screws simply lift this up so this plate comes off Flip it over and we're now able to simply pull it out. So that's our PSC Slim motherboard. These are the tools required uh, to clean up the old thermal compound from the BGA chipsets. You need a superpowered alcohol, cotton balls, and some Q tips. Okay, let's clean it up. Clean up with isopropyl alcohol. Okay, wait 5 to 10 minutes. In the meantime, while the board is drying up, uh, let's clean up the residue from the fan. All done. These are the tools required to apply the new thermal compound. We'll be using Arctic Silver 5, scrape tool. If you don't have a scrape tool, don't you worry about it. You can pretty much use any thick plastic card or a business card. Let's apply the Arctic Silver 5.
now just evenly distribute it. All done. Let's put our PS3 back together. Step one. Grab your bottom plate. And simply align these two with this and slide the motherboard in. Next, grab your bottom plate and place it in. Next, we'll be placing all these screws, two metal bars here, along with the four screws. Next, before placing uh, the motherboard back in the bottom tray, uh, if there's a lot of dust in there, best is to clean it up. Once all clean, um, let's place our motherboard back in the bottom tray. Simply move this and slide it in. Uh, next, let's Put the blue uh, Bluetooth and the Wi-Fi antenna cables. So the black one first, and the white one over here. White one first, and the black one. Place the two silver screws. Place the fan. And simply route the cable through here. And put in this connector. Place the two fan screws, the black screws. Um, we'll be placing these panel screws, so three black Phillips screws and two silver screws here. Next, let's put the power supply cable in the Blu-ray cable. Grab your power reset switchboard, simply place the cable in the connector. Off. Next. Grab your blower drive, slot it in there, align it, place your power reset switchboard. Plug in the power cable, connect the blower drive cable, place the black screw here. Next, let's place your power supply. Simply align these two metal bars with these two holes. Then place the cables and place the two screws. Let's place the hard drive. Simply slide it in. 
slide the hard drive cover and put back the blue screw. Let's place a top cover. Simply align these three with these three clips here. And place all these Phillips screws. Put back all these plastic clips and the uh, and the rubber bands. Place a three tox screw here. Hold on. Thanks for watching the videos. Please go to gc-repairs.com to purchase all the tools and accessories you need. Thank you.